What's going on there, buddy? Quick mail day for the week. There should be a couple more pieces coming in. I'll probably, uh, once I do the Louisville show this weekend, I'll uh, add those probably to that video there. Because I don't think there's that many cards. There are some football into this. Uh, we'll start off. First one was part of a break. Tried the Penguins in the Cup. Got as a Horna rookie. This will be off to PSA to be graded since they're running that special. And I only got a couple days left to get it out. The last uh, break, I did some Bowman's Best. Uh, I guess it's uh, the, the Collegiate. Not too sure what they call it nowadays. Um, Bowman U. There we go. So, got Drake May out of 50 auto. I had Drake May. I just said it was a player break. One out of 25 and one out of 100. So those four cards there will go off to PSA, hopefully tomorrow. The rest of this was all Zoom pickups. Petey Alonzo out of, I can't even see it from my own eyes, out of 20 from 5 Star. More than likely, this is something that would take me time if I was trying to sell it on a lot of different platforms. He's not hot. A lot of people refer to him as the next, uh, or the future Adam Dunn. So we'll see, but it'll probably be something that'll go with DC Sports. <clears throat> from Transcendent, Juan Marichal out of five. Another one will go DC Sports. I think there's one more football after this Wildcat. Jalen Waddle, Contenders Optic, rookie card. Pretty cool piece. It will not grade. Um, Contenders Optic always has some flaws in this hollow part up into here. So that'll just be something I'll probably use for a show this summer when football picks back up again. Old school PSA slab of Bryce Harper. Again, this is just some baseball, unless it's like Hall of Fame, Otani. I mean, there's certain names that'll move at these shows where I'm at out here or where through the people that I know are buying. Stuff like this is all straight, either eBay or DC Sports. And honestly, like if I went to a show and I seen stuff like, say this Tatum Red Yellow PSA 10, unless Tatum's like super, super hot. I pass those up. I'm looking more for autographs and, you know, limited stuff out there. But I'm not saying this isn't a good card or not, but it's just another one I'll send probably to DC or I'll throw it on eBay at a 99 cent auction. But red, yellow, Tatum, PSA 10. And finally, a little piece of vintage. SGC5, Ernie Banks. Should be 60 tops. Yeah, 60 tops. Couldn't see it in the camera. So pretty cool piece there for Ernie Banks as well. So... Not too bad overall for starting off the mail week. A lot of stuff was just taking its time coming in. No fault to the guy shipping it at all. But figured I'd share this with you guys off bat. Uh, let's see, we should have a big PSA reveal. Big as in a big card. Um, that gets shipped out today, so that'll be a later on this week video. The j, &J All-Star Show in Louisville will be up there buying. See what we can find in there. I will start looking at uh, doing my monthly update on Com C for the series. Wasn't a whole lot on there. Like, I think I only picked up two cards on there. Might be three um, coming up. I'm trying to work a deal now with a guy on a card. But a little bit different a month after we're coming out of the holiday season. But things have now picked up, which is a little bit different. We'll talk about that in the video. And then I'm going to talk about Cards HQ in a video and what i'm seeing with the shop itself and it's not going to be like i'm bashing jeff wilson type deal a uh, video i know a lot of people are probably going to bash his card eight cards hq i just don't see really if you're hiring all these employees to work in there picking up cards of card shows to make your profits on in order to keep the lights on your shop along with a lot of other things but i'll talk about that in a video coming up as well too um but that's pretty much about the upcoming series on videos that'll be out other than that guys take care i'm out